Hello and welcome to a, another video for today which is I believe the 4th of August and 4th of August is when Peter Capaldi was announced as the 12th Doctor so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, the 4th of August seems to be like a good day for this channel and here is the third video, the video and this video is on my top 5 Doctor Who books. These are novels and no, uh, non-fiction books as well. And uh, so there's a mixture of both. And this was an idea from Pertwee Smith and Pertwee Smith Eleven, um, and he gave me the idea to do a top five Doctor Who books because I do like my Doctor Who books. Uh, I do like a good read of them. Um, and so yeah, let's crack on with the video at number five. And at number five is a fiftieth anniversary novel, and it is Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, a brilliant novelisation. I was really, really engaged throughout this novel because, yes, I have watched the television story and, of course, that is fantastic as well, but the book was as good as the television story. It was amazing. Ben Aranovich has done a fantastic job of writing this. Um, obviously, it features the Daleks, of course, as seen on the... Uh, well, as displayed on the title, obviously. Um, so yeah, there's nothing different at all about the book um, compared to the television story. Um, you can memorise the scenes again and you can definitely um, remember what happened in this scene when you read it. Um, so yeah, the, this book is really, really good. It's quite thin, um, pages-wise. It's 211 pages. And I believe it's the chapters are sort of split in times. Um, so if we look here, for example, yeah, so his, uh, today it's, well, it says here Saturday quarter to, no, ten to four. Um, so it's, there's no chapter names or chapter, well, yeah, there's chapter numbers, but there's no chapter names, um, which, is, which is quite good, I suppose. Uh, it's sort of unique. Um, I've never really seen that before. But, uh, yeah, this is a really good book. The cover's quite nice. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to have in your collection. So, um, yeah, uh, great, great novel by Ben Aranovich there. Uh, now, this one is a non-fiction um, book, and it's more or less a brief biographies of all the Doctors. I have reviewed this, if you want to check it out, and it is The Doctors Who's Who. Brilliant, brilliant book this is. Um, it's really interesting to see what, um, you know, uh, what you know, what you didn't really know about each actor who played the Doctor. Um, it goes all the way up to Matt Smith. I believe they've done an updated one up to Peter Capaldi, uh, so I may get that. Um, it's quite a nice book. It's quite rough. Uh, well, it's got a nice texture texture on the front cover there, um, and it even even does Peter Cushing, which is, you know, a bit unexpected. But for example, in this novel, it says, um, but. Sylvester McCoy's real name is Percy Kent Smith, and David Tennant's real second name is David MacDonald, which is, you know, quite fascinating, really. It's quite an interesting read. And it does also give some nice pictures of, uh, you know, some of the cast. Um, you know, a great selection of images there. As you can see, you've even got Peter Cushing from the Dalek movies and Bernard Cribbins as well. So, you know, it's a really, really good book, and I really enjoyed reading this. It doesn't take that long to read at all, because you get fully engaged, um, because you want to find out more about each actor who played the Doctor, and I'm sure each of the actors have their own biographies, so if you want to go into further detail, why not buy those? So, yeah, um, this is a great read. I'm sure you can pick it up cheap somewhere. It should be on Amazon, um, but I believe you can only get the paperback now, so a friend of mine has the hardback, but I've got the paper uh, the paperback and it's quite nice to have on the shelf. It looks because the uh, side label is very orange, uh, which is nice. Um, in f third place, we have a Target novelisation. Um, I think this is the second one that I ever read, um, because the first one I read was The Tenth Planet, and it is The Times of Wing Chang. I'm still yet, I've still yet to review this, but it's it's a really good book. You know, like with Rebel Presence of the Daleks, you can really capture the scene from the television serial, um, and it is a great story. And it the TV story is amazing as well. It's a very popular Tom Baker story, and um, you have if you ever see this in a charity shop or anywhere, because uh, I got this for about two pound fifty or two pound. 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great it's a great read, and I do recommend it because um, I read this on holiday, and I managed I think I managed to finish it in about a week. So you know the target novels are quite easy to to read. Um, I think each chapter. I'm not too sure how many pages it is for each chapter. Well, the amount of chapters that this book has, I believe, is 15, or about 15 or 16 chapters, so it's it's not too bad. Um, And, you know, you've got the blurb, so, yeah, I recommend you get this, um, either off eBay or wherever you might be able to get it, I don't know. So, yeah, definitely try and um, get this. I hope they re-release it, because it's a good book. Um, in second place is a favourite, um, probably my favourite Doctor Who book, well, one of them, um, and it is Last of the Gathering. Um, it's a John Pertwee book, uh, which is a good thing, um, and it's written by Mark Gatiss as well, so that's that's really good. Uh, yeah, it features a returning uh, villain. I'm not going to spoil who, but it's it's a really um, typical John Pertwee story. I, I have reviewed this, so if you want to go into further detail, check out my review of it. Um, it's a really typical sort of summary John Pertwee setting. Um, it's during the time when he's still on Earth, I, I think. Um, but, oh, I might, I don't know, I can't remember. It's been a while since I read this. Um, but yeah, this is the first 50th anniversary book I bought. And Mark Gatiss does a really good job of writing this. He really does capture the third Doctor. And it also, it also features Joe Grant. Um, and there's a brilliant, brilliant uh, few sort of areas in the book where there's a Spitfire chase, I think it is, and it is really good, as you can see on there, there's a Spitfire. Uh, so yeah, this is a great addition to the collection, and this is one that I I truly, truly recommend you buy. If you haven't got it, go to Waterstones or WH Smiths and uh, buy it, because it's, it's fantastic. I I really do love this book. It's probably my favourite uh, classic Doctor book, uh, next to the one I'm about to show you. And the final uh, book in first place um, is a, a Target novelisation, but it's one of the last Target novelizations in the range of Target books. Um, it's a second Doctor adventure, and yep, it's Power of the Daleks. Um, I've also heard the audio for this and again it's brilliant a lot of people love this story and it's you know it's a real bummer that it's missing it's probably you know the most iconic missing episode because it's Patrick Trans first and uh, you know it's got the Daleks in it which and they are really good in it um, Tom Peel who's the writer who also wrote Evil of the Daleks and a couple of Eighth Doctor adventures and um, the he also wrote a few um, the missing adventures I believe as well which I think I've got one of them, um, called Evolution. And, uh, yeah, uh, John Peel is a brilliant writer. I think he's a bit heavy on continuity, though, in terms of the Eighth Doctor stories. But, um, yeah, this is a very rare book. So if you ever see it cheap, um, I, I bought this for about 14 or 15 quid from Amazon, and it's it's in fairly decent condition, you know. Um, I wasn't expecting to be immaculate. But yeah, it's it's in fairly good condition. It's it's not the best, but it's very good. Um, the story is absolutely fantastic. John Peel captures Patrick Troughton superbly. He really, really does. I'm not sure how he managed to write this book, to be honest, because it was um, because it's a missing story. But I think this what that's what makes this book valuable um, because of the fact that it's a missing story. And this book was celebrating the show's thirtieth anniversary. Um, which is good, and I believe when they were um, sold at the time, they were round about uh, in shops at the time. I think they were about ooh, five pounds or six pounds. Um, but yeah, um, Power of the Daleks is a really good novelization, and I definitely, definitely recommend you buy it. Um, and it's a great story as well. If you've got the audio, you'll understand that. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And if you haven't heard the audio, go and listen to that. So that was my top five Doctor Who books. Um, I hope you liked my list. Um, I would have included more, but these are my personal favourites, really. Um, so yeah, all of these I recommend you buy. Um, I think they're all available cheaply, apart from this one, obviously, because it's rare and you know it's um, 
a nice addition, a very nice addition to the collection. Um, I think this one's, the power is mainly for collectors nowadays because obviously it's so rare. But um, my, I'm, I was glad to read this because it's, it's brilliant and the cover looks nice as well. So yeah, thanks for watching my top five Doctor Who books. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my third video on the third of August, uh, 4th of August. And uh, yeah, I shall see you next time for uh, another video. If I uh, come up with another, or if, some of, if any of you guys give me another idea, um, that would be great. And I can mention you in the video. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, goodbye.